I'm going in the little entrance, the, the petite entree. Ben has finished laying the rest of this floor. And so that's nice. So this now is all in good ship shape. This is going to be the scullery. So there'll be a wall in front of us. There'll be a little room, sink and dishwashers. And so then has been working on the hood for the big range. And as you can see, he's outlined it out. So we can now see the shape of the hood, the blue tape. And he is scribing some wood. It's very interesting um, to fit inside around all the curves of the old beam. See the irregular shape, <laughs> and he's gonna fit that inside. And there you go. So he's getting that to fit in above the green line, so that this is all nice and sealed up. So because it'll be the ventilation here, but you don't want the gases going up around the fans, um, the cooking grease and stuff like that. So he's just getting that all nice and fitted, and that creates a frame to mount uh, the ventilation fans inside the hood. I cannot go here because there's a giant wheelbarrow on the way, uh, but Ben has removed the plaster from just a, in the, inside the doorway uh, between the kitchen and the butler's pantry. And we've decided it's rather nice stone, so we're gonna leave that. This will be a kind of nice reflection against the wall at the far end, which we're also gonna leave in stone. So eventually we'll, we'll point that and, uh, and that leave the raw stone. So it'll be lovely. And it also will reflect here in these doorways coming into the kitchen, which are also raw stone. So these were stone before uh, they weren't plastered. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave them that way. So it's just kind of a nice touch keeping, keeping the old stone where, where it makes sense and where we can. For example, here in the, in the petite entree or the side entrance. Quelle surprise! I uh, <laughs> just I'm just roaming around the house. It's just I don't know. I haven't walked in the kitchen in a little while, and I thought I'd check things out. Sylvain was working on this, and you can see that he started building the upper portion of the hood for the cooker, and I didn't realize it was framed in. So now you can see. The idea, like I really think now you can really see how this is gonna come together, of uh, the upper portion of the hood. And it's being built, if it's being framed in with plasterboard, but it will be covered in some kind of a plaster. You know, it'll have a nice finished kind of plaster look to it. And anyway, I just walked in and I was like, I was just suddenly surprised by that. So I think it's really exciting that you can see, you know, the shape of things to come. <laughs> All right, what's going on? All right, so uh, we're all finished. Um, I remember that we had that uh, old window, which is quite an easy corner there. Right, behind the radiator. Going there, uh, which came out of the wall behind this one. Yes. And seeing as that's blocked off, that wasn't going to get used, so we decided to put it in there. Okay. Uh, so this other wall's finished and insulated. And I'm moving on to this one now. However, because this is all flush, completely flush, yes. you just can't put plasterboard on it. Because then you wouldn't see anything and the ends of the plasterboard would be exposed. And we want to see this beam and shave all this down, sand it and make it look good. Um, so we want to recess everything. A little bit. So, so the wall's in a bad spot. about how we're going to do this and everything is exactly the same width along here. Yeah. We've decided that. You should take it all down, get this out of here, and build the whole thing out of metal, which will be seven centimeters, giving the. Okay, that we need. I understand. So, yeah. So, that's the plan. That is the plan. This is a mark approved plan, I assume? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We just shouted this out for the best part. I love that I don't know. Oh, it's just decided. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Fine. All right. Yeah. Perfect. And the wall to the water closet, that one's okay, the way it is. I haven't looked at that one yet. <laughs> oh. Um, looking at this. Yeah, we're okay. We've got enough width here to have the plasterboard just go flush in against. Right, that can just here. go in. So this okay. paper should be fine. Excellent. But that one, because it's all the same width. Yep. Uh, I see the installations uh, in place. Excellent. Originally, this had brick in it. Right. Down here. It was the block, so yeah. Just filled it in with brick and then plastered yeah. over the top of everything. All right. So it's a okay. merging of the old and the new. Yeah. Yeah. And they're really old. It'll be a lot neater and a little more Yeah. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to check on Stephen in the kitchen. Hello. Hello. Tu utilises le plat à derrière. C'est ça. Ça se couvre le chaud. Et en au-dessus, l'enduit. Oui, okay. So, <laughs> just to repeat, <laughs> uh, so on the bottom part, there's going to be tile. So, c'est la faïence pour le, le bas. Oui, so, um, on the bottom part, we're not putting like a super smooth finish. So, because uh, it's going to get tiled over. But the upper part is going to be painted. So, that's been getting the enduit, uh, which then is being sanded. Ponce. Ponce. Uh, so that's getting sanded and that will smooth it out and then it's going to get the whitewash or the bagillon, bagillon? Bagillon. Bagillon. which is uh, it's basically a whitewash and that and that's what we use in the other rooms and then it will get painted so the upper portion will be painted the lower walls will be tiled so there's a lot of mix of materials going on in this uh, in this room and we're using materials of course that are also breathable I was about to surprise Ben to see what he's doing, but he's just chit-chatting with you. <laughs> so not much is going on. Talking business, talking work. Uh, ben has been working on the big cabinet in the kitchen and putting it all back together. He's been sanding and waxing the shelves. <gasps> and I thought we'd take a look and see what's happening in Santa's workshop. It's looking magnificent. It's amazing how much it changes when you put the doors on. It actually look, doesn't look quite as big with the doors on as it did with the doors off. Is it, uh, is it, hanging the doors is the hardest part. Is it, are they going yeah, into place pretty I've well? To, I've had to shame a couple. Uh, this one, for example, because it was just grinding on the bottom. Mm. But it's fine, you fit it, it doesn't work. You take it off, right. shave it, you put it back on. Well, look at that. Uh, that one has got a broken hinge the bottom, so I have to try and find a way to fix that. Mm. And it was like that when I got here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> was it like it when you took it apart upstairs? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like it upstairs. I think it was. I do remember so, something being like that. And Ben has also been uh, treating it for woodworm. I'm hardening it and... Excuse me! Filling all, this, all the marks that the worms had made. Yeah, so there are parts that were a little deteriorated, so he's put in a, a filler in, and then that'll get all sanded down. Excuse me. And he picked up some dust. <laughs> but, uh... And uh, in some other parts, he used a hardener uh, where it, the woodworm had eaten away at some of the wood, and it was... A little soft. So this cabinet was actually upstairs in a bedroom and it was used as a linen cabinet and in fact I think if I can remember how to open it. <laughs> uh, ben was setting this cabinet up up here and it has a little little white stickers saying um, what the different things are that go in here. And if I was wearing my glasses, I'd be able to read them to you. But let's just say, uh, oh, petite serviette. So small towels go here. So, <laughs> so this was clearly uh, a cabinet used for a linen closet. It's interesting that it's, it's obviously it's unfinished. There's actually no finish on it. And I don't think there ever was a finish on it. I think it was just built. And then they just didn't bother putting a finish on it. I don't know if that was because 
it was going to be used for just for linen storage and it wasn't something that people would typically see or they just like the natural wood? Yeah, I don't know. It has an identical twin cabinet that is in the room right next to us in the butler's pantry, famously painted Kelly green. Uh, so that one was painted, obviously, uh, but this one is not. <laughs> uh, we decided to move that, this cabinet into the grand cuisine to use it as storage. It actually solved a lot of uh, problems about, you know, what are we, where are we gonna put all the you know, things you need in the kitchen. And we had this cabinet, so it made sense. It's really tall. And that's why I'm doing this nice long shot. Uh, just to kind of give you perspective, I am five foot eight, which is, all right, Matt, Mark, <laughs> you'll have to do the math and post that what it means in centimeters, because <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but you can see I am maybe a little more than halfway the height. So there's quite a bit of height on these cabinets. And I don't know how I'm reaching the upper shelves. <laughs> I have a vision <laughs> that in this corner of the room, I might have a, a small ladder that uh, I can pull out <laughs> to reach some of the upper shelves. So let's say things on the upper shelves are gonna be things that maybe I don't use too often. <laughs> So there was a lot of work into moving it because obviously it's huge. Ben actually took the whole thing apart. He took all the doors off, all the shelves out, and then actually deconstructed the structure of the cabinet itself. All the side panels, it all came apart. And then it was brought down here. It was stored for several months. And then uh, he basically put it all back together, which took, he did it in two stages. So he built just the whole big frame. It's just big and open. And that actually has been sitting in here for a couple of months. And for the longest time, it was covering up the big fireplace in the kitchen. Uh, but just this week, he moved it into place because this wall was prepped and ready to put the cabinet against it. And then finished constructing, uh, putting it all back together. And he spent about probably a, a day or so to get the frame built and maybe two days to get all the pieces back in place. And it wasn't just uh, putting it back together. He treated it for woodworm, and there was definitely woodworm in it. So hopefully now we're good for, I don't know, I think it's good for every 10 years. And where there was some uh, wood eaten away, uh, he did some repairs and some filling. This will need a little sanding and cleaning up down the road as we get ready for when we decide to paint it. Yes, <laughs> it will get painted. Um, and there were some other, I'm not sure where, oh, here. <laughs> some other areas right here uh, where he had to do some repair and filling. So there's a bunch of work to do that. And he also sanded down the, uh, the shelves uh, inside before putting in place and getting everything to fit nice and tight. So it was a little bit of a, a really detailed persnickety work, persnickety work that would drive me insane, but Ben seems to enjoy it. I think he finds it meditative. I'm not gonna ask him because he might not say it's meditative <laughs> and then I'll feel bad. <laughs> no, he seems to enjoy it. <laughs> so it has become a habit when we have like this sort of annoyingly detailed oof, work to do. It's like, oh Ben. <laughs> so here it is finally in place. It has now re-exposed the fireplace and I think what's really great, you can kind of get a sense how tall this fireplace is. It's quite enormous. Our plans in the fireplace are to have it as an open fire, a not obviously I'm not gonna fill this up, but uh, to be able to do an open fire, fire here. At some point we might just raise the hearth to sort of a pedestal to build a fire on, create ambiance for the kitchen. And where I am standing in front of it, there's going to be uh, a dining table here for the main kitchen. And you can see over here, I have a work table. This table is covered in plastic, which I, <laughs> okay. which has been tucked under it to help keep it protected. But you can get it, you can see a corner of it. Uh, we bought this table, I think, it's over two years ago. Uh, we took a little trip to Ile-sur-le-Sorgue in Provence, which is 
beautiful town. It's Eel as an island because it has like a little tiny little like kind of river stream thing that runs around it. It's really charming, it's really beautiful, and it's full of antique stores. They have big antique festivals. It's really, it's fun to go, even if you're not actually buying anything. And we walked into a shop and I saw this table and I thought, ooh, it's like just the right height. It would be perfect to use as a work table in here. So we have this just in place just to get a sense of where it's gonna be. Now, cover it back up. <laughs> Uh, and it, of course, it will get some kind of a finish and paint on it as well. It's completely unfinished at the moment. It was a kind of a commode from a, I think the seller told us it was from a chateau, uh, but it was just something that was against the wall. That's kind of a long uh, sort of work, I don't know if it was a work table or just, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what it was, like a buffet. And then over here, you get, uh, we have the hood that we built. These, of course, corbels, and I've talked about this before, are stone corbels. They are inserted all the way in the wall. They were built by a mason to create the hood above us. And the beams here we have, this beam in front actually comes from another chateau that's actually maybe about five minutes away. I think it might have come from one of their outbuildings. And uh, the little side beams, uh, Sylvain, who actually did a lot of the construction of fitting this, he actually had some old beams. So um, he brought those and, uh, and actually fitted this all together and, and did the joinery for that, which is great. And he has started constructing the hood above. <laughs> it's not quite finished. And then he went away for two weeks. So hopefully, I believe he's gonna be back this week coming and he'll be able to finish filling in uh, the top of the hood. So then this part will be relatively complete. We have the mechanism for the fan, the whole ventilation system. We have that all uh, ready to go in place. When it was sent, also I think sent a little over two years ago, uh, one, it was t it's 10 boxes of components and one box never made it. The supplier said uh, they were just out of that and they would follow up and send it to us. We never got it. But we contacted the shop we originally ordered it from, and they said, we are on it, and we're gonna get you that part. So uh, hopefully soon that part will arrive, and then all the inside of it can be inserted, and it's sort of ready to go. So that's what's happening over here. You can see that I've got a little bit of plaster here on the wall, and then not. This is uh, the lime render and this is a kind of a, a, thinner, a, a smoother finished plaster. That's just there to help uh, smooth out the wall. It's going to be tiled. And Stephen was working on this. And I'd like to welcome to the Chateau family. <laughs> Stephen's uh, wife just had a baby last week, Leonandro. And so he's going to be out on fraternity leave for about a month or so. Uh, and so we'll probably have to just start finishing this up without him. Uh, but he, this is as far as he got before the birth of his new son. So congratulations. This will get tiled. And while we're talking about tile, I'm going to point you to this window because on this wall next to the cabinet, the tile is going to go, if you count like the first pane and then the second pane, that's going to be the height of the tile. <laughs> and it's gonna cover the walls from the cabinet into this corner and then coming across. And then as we get into the corner over here, uh, my, our tile height's gonna come down a little bit to about here, right? And then kind of cross on this wall here. By the way, I am standing in the refrigerator. So we have a refrigerator that we've ordered. It's, con it's a new refrigerator, but it's constructed out of uh, wood paneling in kind of an old style. It's inspired by the old wood ice boxes and it's, uh, it's gonna be going here in this corner. It's gonna be kind of a small refrigerator. It's gonna be narrow and tall, but it'll fit nicely in that corner. And then we'll have extra, an extra refrigerator in the back kitchen as well. So the things we really need to use on a regular basis can go here and then things you don't need as much can go into the refrigerator in the back kitchen. So it may seem that's a small refrigerator for the kitchen, but actually, when you put it all together, there's gonna to be a lot of refrigeration. And that's what's happening in the Grand Cuisine. I hope you enjoyed our look at the ongoing works in the Chateau. 
you know, we're working in multiple rooms simultaneously, so our progress in any one room is a bit slow, but it is all coming together in the master plan. <laughs> A very special thanks to our patrons whose contributions go directly towards the refurbishment and renovation of the Chateau. And to all of our viewers, thank you for supporting us just by watching these videos. We really, we really appreciate it. We also love hearing from you, so please feel free to leave comments. Thank you very much. This is Philip. That's me at Chateau Avensac. talk about. I'm gonna suck in a lot because I saw some test video I did and somebody's eating too much bread and cheese. It's me. Mm -hmm.